Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And, and in this weekly Svelte or Svelte Weekly or whatever the heck I'm going to call this series, uh, we're going to be covering five Svelte packages that I think are really neat. And I'd like to kind of regularly do these types of videos, especially to highlight packages that maybe some people aren't using. Maybe some are very popular, but really just um, put some of that stuff out there into the Svelte community. Some of the things that the Svelte community has been working on uh, give that some more oomph and, and allow people to check out some of these neat projects. So the first one I wanted to talk about here is a very, um, it's a very widely used package in the Svelte world because this is really MDX for Svelte. If you've never used MDX, what MDX is is really Markdown with React components. This is Markdown with Svelte components. And there's a lot of really neat stuff inside of MD Specs. I mean, besides working with SvelteKit or whatever you want, basically it allows you to supercharge Markdown files. It almost turns Markdown files into like a more of a templating language. But you have things like named layouts, front matter for metadata. Um, there's all sorts of really neat integrations. You have fancy typography, meaning that you can pull out things like, I believe it, it does things like um, taking three dots and turns it into the entity for it. Um, I'm not sure if it does fancy quotes. It looks like it kind of does that type of thing where it turns dashes into the dash character, those types of things. It, it's pretty neat, actually. Um, and really overall, I'm a big fan of writing simple markdown files for blog posts and things. And sometimes you just want a component in there, whether it's a video player or a chart or who knows what. And I really, really, really adore MD Specs. I think this is one of the uh, really neatest, most awesome libraries in the Svelte community. All right, next one is one that just popped up in the Svelte Discord today. And this is the Svelte Picker or Date Picker Svelte. I'll have links to these in the in the description below, just so you know. And this, it's a good looking date picker. Um, we all know that date pickers and date inputs, not a lot of fun to work with. No, thank you. Uh, I, I've been working on, not my own, that's any full feature that I would want anybody else to use, but we, we have our own that is functional and it's not exactly this nice at all. What's so great about this is there are a lot of options, but not too many options, right? It doesn't, um, it doesn't want to do everything, which I, I sincerely appreciate. So many libraries want to do everything and they end up being bloated or hard to maintain or they have to cover all these use cases, right? All these various use cases. But in this one, I found it to be a date picker with a nice interface that just hashtag works. So I really enjoyed this. Um, this is a really neat date picker, especially if you need a simple date picker. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit for this one because this is a package that I made. This is the Svelte element query. If you don't know about element queries, you could read this uh, CSS tricks, a cornucopia of container queries uh, post where it basically talks about why container queries or element queries are so cool. Um, what I made is basically a Svelte action called use container where you can set breakpoints like small, medium, and large. And at that point, it will use classes and they will be triggered at those breakpoints. And we're actually using this on Level Up Tutorials, and you can check out the demo here. So if you don't know why this is different than media queries, go do that research. I'm not gonna tell you about it right now. But basically, this is kind of like media queries, but it's based on the size of the container of the element rather than the browser window. So you can see here, we have hello, which is blue, it's blue, it's blue, it's red. And you might be looking at this demo and saying, Scott, media queries can do this. Yes, but this is about the element itself and not the browser window. So that's a big difference there. So if you want easy container queries, check it out. This exists. Uh, next one is a newer one too. You can see published four days ago. Um, this is a Svelte drag only. God, I, I gotta say, one thing I love about the Svelte community, all of these packages are tiny. Um, all of these packages are tiny. I think... Um, the container query package that I made is like bytes size. I mean, it's literally a couple lines of, of code. I didn't even I didn't even say how small this was because it's it's like ten lines of code. But so many of these things can be very small because you're working with browser APIs, right? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Either way, I've been dying for um, some dragging on Svelte, and I have 
some um, draggable actions in level up tutorials right now, but it's using a package which uses another package, which uses, and it's a big, big package at the end of the day. And I, uh, sometimes you gotta have a small package here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say React, um, this is inspired from React Draggable. It is 2KB and you can try it in the Svelte REPL. Again, another wonderful thing about the Svelte community is that you can try all this stuff in the Svelte REPL usually. So really neat, um, really enjoy having something like this, especially if you're looking for any kind of dragging actions. And you can, you can, there's options here, right? You can drag X, Y, both, none. Um, you can have bounds, you can have a GPU acceleration, um, some neat stuff here on cancel. Is this a cancel event? No, this is a cancel class. Let's see what kind of events there are on a drag start on drag end, on drag. Yes. Beautiful. Love it. Gotta have it. Okay. And lastly is another one that I found in the Svelte discord. If you're not on the Svelte discord, get on that thing. Um, there's a really neat showcase room inside of there where people share packages and many of these, uh, I found from there over time where I've been putting them in my bookmarks or starring them or whatever. This is one that just popped up. Now, I think this package is really neat. Um, it allows you to do steps. Now, not to say that this package is perfect because what I would really love here is some animation going on. Um, I even, I opened a feature request in the GitHub issue. I hope that is okay. Uh, but you can see here, look at that. And so it seems like it's, uh, decently uh, configurable. Now it does seem like it comes with these icons. What I don't know is that if you don't use the icons, are they still bundled in your site? If that's the case, uh, that would be a nice little feature as well. Um, but it, it's a nice little step counter and these types of things, I'm always coding this on my own. This is the type of feature that I've coded maybe like a hundred times. It would be really nice to have something like this <laughs> that just does it for you. Uh, but it looks really nice. So give this thing a try and again, you'll see that the, even these icons that come in here. So there's this check marks one, two, I don't believe these are icons themselves, but you can see there are icons here. And so the icon is just going to be what I assume is an SVG or a Svelte component. I haven't actually tried this yet, but it looks really neat. If you have the icon, you pass in the actual icon. It's not like a string that is resolved with icons that are included in this. In fact, um, if you check it out, the, the, all the icons that are in this demo are in the demo folder. So it's the, the icons aren't bundled with this as far as I know, which is a good thing. So this is a really, really neat package. And if you're into having some sort of a step counter, which I, I need this kind of thing a lot, um, it seems like a good option. So these are five neat Svelte community packages, MD specs, date picker, Svelte, Svelte element query, Svelte drag, and Svelte steps. Now I'm gonna be doing this series, maybe I can do one a month or something um, in terms of like highlighting packages. So if you've written a cool Svelte package and you want me to talk about it, review it, whatever on this show, I, I'm not gonna be critical, harshly review these things, but if you want me to like uh, feature you in one of these, please leave your Svelte package down below and I will give it a try. Now I have a lot of really neat stuff I'm working on right now for the level up tutorial site that I really, really, really want to talk about. Um, but it's not done yet around GraphQL and how we're fetching right now. Uh, I'm, I'm building something really pretty neat here. So maybe I'll share that with you next week. Otherwise we are going to continue talking about some neat Svelte kit, uh, features, tips, techniques, tools, all those types of things every single week, every single Friday on level up tutorials with your weekly dose of Svelte here. So if you want to learn Svelte, head on over to leveluptutorials.com. We have a Svelte kit course along with an animating Svelte, building Svelte components, uh, Svelte 101. If you don't know anything about Svelte, that's the place to start. And we're going to have a lot more coming soon, including an advanced Svelte course uh, or advanced Svelte kit course, because let me tell you, leveluptutorials.com is built on Svelte kit. And I have learned so much about what it takes to make a platform like this work on something like Svelte. And let me tell you, I love it. Uh, it's fantastic. I, I'm very excited to work in my code base all the time because I don't have an endless array of foot guns. So check it out, leveluptutorials.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week for some more Weekly Svelte.